Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is uh, Toho Ginso Wanderer Reloaded. Hey, I got it right. It's been I think, a couple of weeks since I last played. Um, I still have quite a backlog going, but I have nothing better to do, so I'm going to play more of this. As of right now, I've probably been reminded about the uh, Chronicle uh, about a million times by now, and it's probably going to be even more by the time this video comes out. So, here's hoping, I guess. Anyway, uh, we're still playing as Sakya and doing all this crazy nonsense, and uh, we're on floor 6 out of 24. And uh, we're feeling fine. Alright, so that's Parsi. I don't think we've done anything with her. It's, I've probably forgotten some of the uh, characters we've done already, unfortunately. Uh, she should be over here. A Hashimi who guards the bridge that connects the surface to the underground. If you have a lot of items with you, she will destroy one. Huh. So that's her power. She's all about jealousy. That's why she's known as the Green Eye Monster, and that's why her eyes are green. Alright. Uncanny Shine. So that's the... Okay, it just confuses everybody. Swap talismans. Alright. No. Huh. Ice green tea, I think, does increases back to HP. Face down, we know about that one. Uh I would love to get paperweight. Or was it? Yeah, paperweight. But don't really need it. Okay, so we'll just Dismantle that. I need all the points I can get. Thank you. Alright, let's uh see what we can fusion. It's a heck of tea. Uh can only go up by one, so we'll uh, use this one. Yeah, our defense is pretty good. Meanwhile, Raymo has a trash can. Tiwi's mask. Mask containing a famous con otter artist it is uh, it is a beloved item of Tiwi Inaba, who uses it mainly when pulling pranks. This is animal damage. So that's Ringo san. That's Yame san. Pressy san. Yeah. That's Yukari. Also, it looks like our weapon. Magic Star Sword. A sword crafted by the magic of the, the magic made. Magical Sakya. It's coated in magical power, so even those who aren't magically gifted can wield its power. So yeah, we got like a like a little bow, little thing on our our dagger's now a sword. So we got that going for us now. It also means that the uh, the magic sword, this thing's uh, power up limits increased, and we got more slots for it. Uh, do we have any seals? I don't think we do. And it's going to be a pain in the ass to check because I have a million of fucking gaps right now. Oops, I cursed. Uh, carrot of happiness. Uh, when defeating it, you will acquire a conditional XP. Plus 50% experience. I don't know if that will actually work though. Alright, first things first, let's uh, dismantle this. So I'm kind of getting in the, the swing of things again. Like I said, it's been a little while. I, I record in bulk and I try to wait to let it catch up, but I actually like playing this game, so uh, deal with it. Alright, so fusion. Alright, what if we can I fuse the star sword with anything else? So you can't use it with accessories. That seems to be the gist there. Long distance. Increases range of Domaku and allows them to go through walls. T lover. Increases max HP. 
course we know about that one. Human Slayer. Deals more damage to human species enemies. Do I not have Human Slayer already? I do not. I think I might go ahead and do this one. Sure, why not? So now we can murder humans with this dagger. Or sword, whatever it's called. Great talisman. Oh, this is the one that you can uh, stack a bunch of stuff with. It's like the Hawkeye crystal. Uh, what's the partner have? Love fulfillment. Okay, it just gives resistance to that nonsense. Okay, that's not bad. All right. 100 damage. Also, we did fight a bunch of new things, so let's knock those out real quick. Uh, let's see. In theory, we did. There it is. Come on, man. A uh, su Suchiku. Sorry, Suchigumo yokai who lives in a cave. She uses poison that inflicts muscle fatigue. When her rank is high, her poison inflicts weakening venom. As her rank goes up, her poison gets stronger. If you throw an antidote on her, she instantly dies. I think we've read that one before. I apologize. Like I said, it's been a while. In any case, uh, there is a few other people. Ringo. Moon Rabbit to... Yeah, I think we've read this one. Yep. We have... And then we have, of course, there's Yukari. Who should be here. Alright, a yokai who has... Who has lived in Gitsukia since ancient times. She warps the player, hides in gaps to absorb your items. When her rank is high, she absorbs the gap itself. Also, after she absorbs an item, she throws it back at you. Okay, good to know. That's a shit ton of Tiwis. Alright. Tons of level ups there. Tiwis are worth quite a bit, but you do have to kind of catch up to them, so that's a, a problem usually. One hit kill. Your normal attack ha have a chance to one hit KO your target, ineffective against targets with resistance. Activation chance, plus 2%. Not bad. Uh, we'll need to uh, get some points first, though. Uh, just making sure. What are you equipped with? Hakurei Talisman. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that was the old what, item she had equipped. Alright. Yeah. Serious song. Huh. That's Satori. I think I got the instant death from that. Muscle fatigue virus, but it didn't yep. do anything. Okay. Now Saren. Okay. Yep. We've read that one before. And that's a sleep trap. on feet is now plus 55. Just one-shotting people now, it's great. When we actually go back to the main plot, it's gonna probably be a, a cakewalk. Huh. Raby, on the other hand, is not doing so well. Oh, Sine? Pretty sure she already has are... There she is. She performs Wind God's Festival rituals at the Mario Shrine. She restores surrounding enemies' HP with Rice Shower. Uh, when her rank is high, she makes enemies super strong. She grants various bonuses with Miracle Fruits and uses Dalmaku attacks from a distance. As her rank goes up, the effects will increase. Human slash God. 
Flames of Jealousy couldn't burn Parsi Sun all the way. Alright, my item protection in Talisman 3 was burnt. Yeah, I can counterattack for 18 damage, which is not very much anymore. Alright, and I still have item protecting talismans up, so we're good on that front. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we're gonna be fully exploring all yeah. these floors. That is show. Hey show. A yokai who is the avatar of Bishamonten. She removes seals on your equipment, uh, equipped items and warps them somewhere else on the floor. If you defeat her, she drops the seals on the spot. Um, as her rank goes up, the number of seals she takes increases. This ability cannot be blocked with anti-theft. From UFO. Ten out ribbon. Alright, uh... Raises enemy level by one. Ooh, that's actually useful. Alright. Let's, uh, let's try to... S oh, actually, we can combine some stuff. Let's fuse, um... Magic Sword with, uh... Lady Yi use Fan plus two and get the one-hit KO going. Hakashia Star. A mysterious, a mysterious sphere is held by the goddess of hell, Hikashia. Uh Each one represents the hell of the moon, the earth, and the other worlds. Has all the slayers on it. Which is pretty impressive. And then it has a bunch of barriers on top of it. Alright. Button gap, Devourer's items placed in, blah blah blah. Lyrica. I'll just probably do all three of them. The youngest of the Prism River, River Sisters, Poltergeist. Uh, when she, all of them unite, they start a concert and change the. Uh, background music. She plays the keyboard and summons Lunasa and Merlin that are the same rank as her. As her rank goes up, she increases the power of Lunasa and Merlin. The middle child of the Prison River sister, Poltergeist, when all of them blah blah blah. She plays the trumpet and gives allies and enemies super strong or regenerate. As her rank goes up, her range increases and she interferes with various status effects. The eldest sister, uh, she plays the violin and inflicts a uh, allies and enemies with melancholy. As her rank goes up, her range increases and she even inter interferes with stuff. Okay. Huh. Dorimi-san. The ruler of the dream world. Uh, using her ability to create dreams, she puts you in, a sl in the sleep state. As her rank goes up, she uses Dream Eater to steal experience and transfer it to her items. Wall Breaker. Ball. Alright, let's make some room. Do I got a foodie on me? Should. Yeah, fruit tart. Eat. Then, uh. I'm gonna do some freaking dismantling, so let's do that. Uh, we'll dismantle. Swap talisman because I don't care about it. The rest of it's probably okay. Let's go. 
the seal off of that. Uh... Devour's item place, yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and use that. As soon as I find it again, check, check, check. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the um, glutton gap. I want the seals. All right, got that going for us. Ow. Yugi. One of the elite four Oni of the mountain, she throws anyone who is in her in her way. When using anomaly strength disorder and spirit, she becomes super strong the first time, and enhanced the second time. When she's super strong, she ignores the effects of paperweight seals and throws you. Like a true hero. Fog purge. I'm just gonna deal with that. The only way I know how. Sega song, which I believe we've already looked at. Uh, do, 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 do. An evil sage who came from China and can pass through walls. She summons Yoshikas that are the same rank as herself when Yoshika is near Sega. Yoshika has a chance to revive when defeated. By Futo. Yeah. Huh. go. Uh, goes from the Soka noble family. She is a trusted follower of Miko. She throws thunderbolts from a distance. As her rank goes up, she throws more thunderbolts. She also inflicts slowed and bound. Spirit of, the, spirit of a member of the ancient Soka clan who were inciting violence in Japan. She may look like a chump, but she is very sensitive. Uh, let's see. We've read that one before. Alright. Let's put away some of this junk. I keep forgetting to use this happiness talisman. I should have used it a while ago. So yeah, we'll just uh, insert this in a gap. Insert this in another gap. And insert this in another gap. Do I not have anything that goes gives me a bonus against Oni? Nope. I have nothing that gives me bonuses against Oni. Good to know. Oh, look, that secret room. I 
can get access to it, but I honestly don't need the money. Have we actually looked at Futo-san stuff? I think we have. Yeah, she just creates landscapes, that's right. All I could remember was that she threw dishes. Alright, next floor. Hello, Mocha. Thank you. Moko is an immortal who drank the Horai elixir and lives in the bamboo forest of the law. She can sometimes revive with full HP when defeated. She also unleashes critical hits sometimes as well. She also she nullifies explosions and can burn items that are thrown at her. Characters who enter her flame pillars become startled. Now water and room of light. <laughs> Alright, I can do fusions again. Alright. So let's uh find this with Akashia Star and get plus three. Try to get myself as strong as possible. A delinquent celestial who lives in heaven, she causes earthquakes that damage all nearby characters as her rank goes up, her range increases. And again, I see uh, <laughs> secret items. Not that it really helps much. Uh, dismantle that, please. Thank you. Uh, get that too. Yeah. That's a Hakare talisman. I will dismantle it. Then I can do some more fusions. So let's uh, combine this with the Rokokin. And bring it up to 36. We do have a shop up ahead. I'm gonna eat this fruit tart now. It's a colored exit. I don't remember if that was a thing. Yakren. The head priest is the Murian Temple. I, per I probably mispronounced that. Who is a great magician and used to be human. She surrounds herself with three different types of auras to enhance herself. That's a preserve gap, and we need space for it. I'm just gonna drink this. I'm gonna eat this eclair. Oh, that's actually really good. Um. Alright, and then what we can do with all that junk. Let's do some of this. And... Some of these. And insert those into that gap. Also, I don't care about the jump stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. I could combine them with something else, I think, but I'm not gonna worry about that. You have too much crap. Why, you can get gunpowder out of water? I guess I can't be surprised. 
Thanks a lot, EPA. Alright, what do we got here? Green tea, green tea. Lawn mow mowing scythe. Hey, scythe used to mow lawns. It's almost ridiculous how well it cuts, almost like it's powered by spiritual en uh, energy. Normal attacks will not miss, but they will deal less damage. Strong Swing's uh, accuracy reduction takes priority. Okay, so you if you try to combine it with something else, you'll uh, mess around with that. Hat worn by Junko, uh, to be precise, it's a hair ornament from when she was still human. Uh, it's clear that her grudge is still just as strong now as it was back then. Reduces damage taken when enemies are purified. Okie dokie. Claire I don't care about. Seal Sucker Gap. That just eats seals. Alright, that's nothing too special. Here, you know what? I'm gonna take this water and insert this in the uh, red bean cake. There you go. I have more food than I'll ever need in this game. I don't really have anything I need to sell. Alright, Daikon feet has, have been enhanced. Catnip. Air scroll. Uh, what's this one do? Saving. Decreases the amount of power used when performing Damaku attack. I have that? No, I do not. Okay, that's actually kind of neat. I will go ahead and insert this in the glutton gap. Strengthens armor. I will hold on to it for night for right now. So this is the oh that's the return to base one. Next floor. Ehina. You cursed my gap. Honestly, I don't know what that would do. Does it curse at all the contents? It might. Alright, that cured it. I don't have any food on me, so decay doesn't do anything. Another shop. Magic Star Sword has been enhanced. Uh, shortcake, mouth seal, uh, return to Hawker, eh? Right? 
shortens time a lot to the remain to remain on the current floor. All right. Okay. I could grab that shroom and immediately sell it, but I don't care. Hey, then, Luigi. A white wolf Tingu who patrols Yokai Mountain. She blows a conch and or conch, how you pronounce it, and gives all enemies in the room insomnia. As her rank goes up, she inflicts enemies with various conditions. Also, if you have optical camo, she will throw a paintball at you, revealing you to the other enemies. Yeah. Yeah, these things are getting stronger. Tingu radar. Off and break. Okay. Uh, dismantle the Tengu radar. Thank you. And where are we at? So, f okay. So we'll do a Nito fusion. On this evil ribbon. Okay. I'm pretty sure we've already seen Eco. Uh, let's see. Uh, Yokai, who is the messenger of the Dragon Palace, she has a high chance to evade attack. She also nullifies direct hit seals. As her rank goes up, she uses lightning that can inflict various status effects. Well, there it goes. Oh, okay, that just burnt one of my talismans. We got one left before. Our trouble. Chen! A ghost cat, Yokai, who is also Ran's Shikigami. She moves at double speed and as her rank goes up, she takes more actions and performs multiple attacks. She doesn't like water. If you throw water at her, her rank goes down. When she approaches a waterway, her movement slows and if she enters it, she dies. Huh, interesting. Hey, Letty. We've re I know we've read about Letty already. Blow away talismans. <laughs> There's a room, yeah? Alright. Yoka who surrounds herself with darkness, she doesn't move from where she's standing and shrouds her, her surroundings, and even the enemy icons on the map in darkness. As the rank goes up, the range of our darkness increases. Alright, despite all my leveling, um... Yeah. Well, actually, I think we're doing pretty well. We're not in any sort of trouble, really. Also, my weapon apparently could do ability to seal. I don't even remember when I put that on there. Turn to Hakurei. Thunder Talismans, we haven't seen those in a bit. We haven't even need to rely on them anymore. A uh, large branch of a yokai tr uh, trade blossom tree that was broken off by some rotten scoundrel. Death will come after your 10th step. Instantly kills you 10 turns after equipping this item. After that, the equipment with the seal will break. <laughs> While moving floors, you'll be uh, given the death curse effect. When attacked by an opponent, you have a chance to give them the death curse event uh, effect. Okay. I think I'm just going to destroy that. For science, you know. I don't care about blow away talismans, thank you. Alright. Okay. Hey. Raymond's got something new. Pressing all the wrong buttons. Here we go. Still useless. Can only go up to 15, apparently, on the power-up. Uh, vacuum. Plus two. A convenient machine that sucks up dirt and dust sold at Corindo. It can't suck up organic materials like, uh, materials. Just kidding. It can, and also living things. 
That is impressive. Huh. Alright, let's do some fusions. I think Daikon feats. Okay. So yeah, for right now, let's do, um... Do I not have a void yet? I don't. Good to know. And then sound wave resistance. Here, you know what? Hey, uh... I'm gonna just give you some stuff. Here, you can have this, uh, this feather ball plus one. Actually, you'll have this antenna first. That's a stronger vacuum. Yeah. Who's that? They're going at light speed, apparently. Oh, that's Aya. Oh, yeah. Ow. Yeah, I'll do that instead. When will, okay. A Crow Tingu newspaper journalist who lives on Yokai Mountain. She moves at double speed and attacks twice. Also, she causes violent winds that blow allies and enemies forward. When her rank is high, she blows you away, ignoring the paperweight seal. Good stuff. All right, let's keep going. Next floor. That's Yuka. We're just going to kill quickly and get away from her. So if there's anything that will kill us, it's her. Yujan! Here, you can have this feather ball. Actually, how are we on the... Yeah, go ahead and take the fire feather ball. Get her some defense for once. I do want to level up that useless just to see what happens if it actually becomes something else. That's a transform gap. <laughs> Street book. Uh, Alright. Book where words appear out of nowhere and then vanish. Accumulated experience will steadily disappear. We already have that on something, don't we? Hey, we got another slot. When that happen? All right, we're gonna throw this. It's character fluctuation experience. that on icon feet. Alright, so now I have it. Saving would have been good too, but it's all good. That is a full vacuum right there. Okay, Tiwi Mask, History Book, Red Liquid. Let's go ahead and dismantle the Red Liquid. Junko's Tail. That's purified. 
tale of Junko, a sagacious spirit with a grudge against the Lunarians. It is a crystal of pure grudge energy that can kill any normal human that touches it. Okay, dismantle tail. And then fuse our magic sword with the lawn mowing scythe. Get four extra attack on that. There we go. We'll uh, insert this in a reserve cap. Power boost that we can use. All right, this is a beefy sword here. So my does Yuka will be good. Benson. Yatsu, Yatsuhashi's older sister is Tsukugami, born from a Biwa. When defeated, she drops her favorite food, Loquats. She'll perform a so song that inflicts blind to all her opponents just once. Uh, at higher ranks, she'll curse items in your inventory. When next to her sister, uh, they'll both perform a song to give a boost to all nearby uh, characters. Um, an inchling who is a descendant of Usunboshi, her needle attacks it. More defenses as her rank goes up, she makes the player a dwarf and makes other enemies giants. Huh. Atsuhashi. Younger sister, Asukagami, born from Akuto. When defeated, she drops her favorite food. When her opponent is stronger than her, she'll perform a song that weakens them and strengthens herself and her nearby allies just once. When her ne when next to her sister, they boost everybody. Yeah. All right, Yuzhen. Got some skulls. So yeah, let's combine the vacuum with uh, really with anything. I don't really care. Here, really, I just want to make room here. Not even worth eating. That's how bad they are. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the green tea. We don't need it for now. Alright. Kiri detects it in mine. Yeah, we've seen those before. We've seen you before too. Glutton gap. Oh! Uh eats items or doesn't eat seals so let's um I want to not the hawker amulet not that it's in here somewhere not those mystery take out 
and then put this in the glutton gap. Thank you. Have that later. Money gap. Killed somebody. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this, I don't care about it. How long does this last? Okay, we need to get going. When Yuka's around, you gotta go home. I just got hit. With the flowers. Okay, so we can just go through the center here. That's Marissa. <laughs> Magician who lives in the Forest of Magic, after she steals your items, she escapes by floating away. While escaping, if you, the player or partner is in proper alignment, she shoots her Master Spark. Oh, also, uh, our Half Phantom just changed. Or, sorry, it uh, became a Half Phantom. Half Phantom Tojiko. The Half Phantom being that failed at possessing Tojika Soga. It may s uh, seem obvious since they're both spirits, but it can't be helped. Let's just forget it. Already have. Alright. So, what we can do here is, I believe it's one of the preserve gaps here. Not that one. Not that one. Take out. Yeah. It's a lot, uh, yeah, this wall will reduce cost. I'm just making sure I don't have anything else that gives it. Yeah, uh, use. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's charm only. Okay, so I can't put it on here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, do we have a void yet? Uh, we don't. Okay. Alright, so I can now finally throw some stuff on here. Uh, let's go into here. Not there. Not there. I know I have a cat thing around here somewhere. Check these again. Maybe I'm just missing it. There it is. Take out. Could not. T t okay, because I'm full, aren't I? Okay. Well, let's fix that real quick. Dismantle. Um, I honestly probably don't need either of these right now. Okay. Now go back through this. Take out. Use on the half phantom. There we go. Okie dokie. And then insert this into that gap. And insert this into that gap. Inventory huh. management, the game. We're not going to play with Yuka. That's just not going to happen. Oh, my fusion's gone up again. Alright, combine this with the antenna so I can get a void. Alright, got that going. I need to find a wall to throw the, uh, the glutton gap I have so I can get that other item on there. 
Lost article. Enemies hit by this will drop their items. I actually don't have any walls to throw the uh, the bean the bean gaps around. That's okay. Uh, I got food in here somewhere. There we go. Eat that. There we go. Scanda shoes. Double speed boost. After moving forward, you'll be given double speed. After moving forward, you'll be given optical camo. Shoes of a, of a guardian who chased down and punished enemy thieves makes you run fast and makes it harder for your items to be stolen. I should have dismantled that money gap. That's what I should have done instead of just left it on the floor. A Hecate. Kill you. Dismantle that Hecate. Well, that was not pleasant. Play around with this, shall we? Huh. Now you're a Sama. Yeah. And now you're Big Kagero. I can play around with? Not really. already know what Kaneko does. It's nothing good. Was completely lost. I think she got launched and never really recovered. But she is murdering things with her n yeah. her useless, which is pretty impressive. Kashi a star. Thankfully, didn't lose anything from that. Food and medicine will restore more tummy. Alright, don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and dismantle that.
All right. Next floor. So, Yeba, Anata. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. I wasn't expecting dialogue already, so, uh, yeah, when we come back, we'll uh, get some story and then murder everything. I am The Depressed Eeyore. This was uh, Toho Ginso Wanderer Reloaded. See you guys next time.